Today on Rappler. BPI customers wake up to unauthorized deductions. DILG Secretary Ben Hur Abalos tells police generals issue courtesy resignation. Phil Health official says rate hike pause will affect medical consultations and mental health aid. WHO advisors ask China for a more realistic picture of its COVID situation. Brazil lays football superstar Pele to rest. Diane of Twice tests positive for COVID, and Jeremy Renner snaps a selfie post-accident, thanking well-wishers. Customers of the Bank of the Philippine Islands or BPI get a shock early morning Wednesday, January 4, after finding unauthorized deductions on their accounts. Many post complaints on social media. A Facebook user says, I lost almost 4,000 pesos, my friend lost 17,000 pesos, and some of my colleagues lost money too. Users also note BPI's mobile banking app has been inaccessible. BPI attributes the problem to a glitch. In a tweet, the bank says it is working to reverse the double transactions within the day. BPI says online banking is intermittently available due to the high volume of inquiries. BPI assures customers their accounts are safe and secure. As of Wednesday, it remains unclear how many users were affected by the double debit glitch. Interior Secretary Ben Hur Abelos asks full police colonels and generals to file their courtesy resignation to purge the Philippine National Police or PNP of police officers with drug links. At ayon sa rekomendasyon ng Chief PNP at ng ilang kapulisan, ako ay nananawagan sa lahat ng full colonel hanggang sa general ako'y umaapila na mag-submit ng courtesy resignation. Abalos says this is a shortcut to addressing the alleged involvement of some PNP members in the illegal drug trade. Internal cleansing in the PNP is not new. Former PNP chiefs like Senator Ronald De La Rosa and Guillermo Eleazar promised to clean the PNP ranks during their time. While the deferment of state health insurer PhilHealth's rate hike is welcome news for its members, some programs will be affected by the move. In an interview with ANC on Wednesday, January 4, PhilHealth's Ray Balenya says aid for mental health, therapeutic care for malnutrition, and healthcare consultations will need to be adjusted following the deferred rate hike. Balenya adds the consulta benefit package will also need to be adjusted. This comes after President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. deferred the scheduled increase in the monthly contribution of PhilHealth members in light of the prevailing socioeconomic challenges. Balenya says the PhilHealth board will discuss the adjustments it needs to do in light of the president's order. Leading scientists advising the World Health Organization say they want a more realistic picture about the COVID-19 situation from China's top experts. The WHO invited Chinese scientists on Tuesday, January 3, to present data on which variants are circulating in the country. WHO advisors say they have only seen a tiny fraction of China's cases sequenced so far at around 700. China lifted its zero-COVID measures in December 2022. Its Communist Party mouthpiece The People's Daily says China and the Chinese people will surely win the final victory against the epidemic. But COVID cases in China continue to surge, with official data still unclear. Brazil bids soccer legend Pele a final farewell. Pele's coffin is taken to its final resting place at the city of Santos' ecumenical memorial necropolis. Around 230,000 mourners pay their respects past this open casket from the city's stadium on Tuesday, January 3. Brazil's newly sworn-in president, Lula da Silva, says his death is an irreparable loss for Brazil. Pele died on December 29 at 82 after battling colon cancer for a year. Pele played from 1956 to 1974 for the Brazilian national team, scoring more than 1,000 goals. Twice member Dayun tests positive for COVID-19. JYP Entertainment says Dayun took an antigen test and tested positive around late evening of January 3. JYP adds they will prioritize their artist's health and put their best effort for her quick and healthy recovery. Diane's diagnosis comes shortly after the girl group announces the January 20 global debut of their next pre-release English single, Moonlight Sunrise. It will be the first single of Twice's upcoming 12th mini-album, Our Youth. 
Actor Jeremy Renner gives an update after his snowplow accident. Renner posts a selfie on Instagram from his hospital bed in Nevada, showing him looking bruised with oxygen tubes in his nose. Renner writes, Thank you all for your kind words. I'm too messed up now to type, but I send love to you all. Nevada officials say Renner was run over by a snowplow that began rolling by itself after he used it to dig his car out of a mound of snow. Renner is known for playing Hawkeye in the Marvel Avengers movies. And that's today's wrap. I'm Marguerite De Leon. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.